Why are mortgage rates really going up? Who's really getting rich here? And my personal warning, why should you not tap into your home's equity? That's today's topic, so let's dive right into it, shall we? By the time it was the middle of 2021, the Federal Reserve began talking about the tightening of the monetary policy. Do you remember what the home loan rate was during that time? If you don't remember, it was around 3%. When we started at 2022, it was around 3.5%. And now, so far, the current rate for a conventional mortgage is around 6.9%. This is an increase of around 3 plus percent that we've seen so far. This is, and I don't want to say it's biting you in the butt, so I will just say that it is painful for anyone who's trying to buy a house these days. And you homeowners, don't exclude yourself from that because remember when you're selling your house nine out of ten times you're also buying another house so it will affect you just as much it's clear that the Federal Reserve including agencies that are directly associated with the Fed wants us to believe in the idea that these interest rate hikes are necessary in efforts to bringing inflation growth back down and so maybe it is necessary to increase the interest rates significantly. Maybe it isn't. But I find it to be a little bit sneaky. I believe that there's a real possibility here of another angle to this approach or plan or whatever you want to call it that is completely hidden behind the curtains and no one, unless you are a guru in economics, is paying attention to this. No one is talking about this. Let me explain. Stay with me here for a moment. High mortgage rates are a win for the banks, isn't it? This is why it is important that I share this possibility with you, especially if you decide to step into your home's equity for any reason besides investing into the buying assets. Quick disclaimer here, or just a reminder you that I am not a financial advisor and it's not a financial advice. I'm a licensed realtor and my mission is to share my knowledge through experience with you, my dear friend. To make my point, I will show you two slides I've seen that will support this possibility and the possible outcome. A comparison of a loan payment, a principal payment, and interest payment of a loan balance at an average of 3% just a short while ago and how payments change over the life of the 30-year loan with the current rate. I will show you two comparison graphs, so please stay with me here because this is very important. The average sale price for a new single family home around second quarter on 2020 was about $325,000 and the rate was around 3%. The principal paid in this case was $547. The interest paid in this case was $825 and the loan balance was about the same. So when we look at the loan maturity if the loan balance is right here if the loan balance is in the dark blue the loan balance by the time it's paid to the fullest goes down to zero obviously the principal paid goes up so in other words that means that the amount of the principal has gone up which is your equity and so you paid a lot more into it and then the interest pay goes up in the beginning but then at some point the interest rate has been satisfied most of it and then the principal payment that you keep making on your mortgage is going up which causes your principal loan balance to drop down so you're paying it off now let's compare to fast forward today the typical home price is now about 40 percent more expensive than it was before at around $450,000 and at mortgage rates around 6.9% now, that's a double whammy for the affordability for housing. So you could see as it's an updated payment right here on the next graph. Look at this crazy thing. Let's look at the interest because that's the most important point that you must pay attention to. This will blow your mind. 
the interest payment alone is now $2,604 compared to $825 just a few years ago. But look at this, the interest payment that you're paying the bank goes up and up all the way till the end of the loan. And so the important thing is to look at the dollar amounts, right? From the second quarter of 2021 to the third quarter this year, the total interest paid on the median home sale price went from around $184,000 to $620,000 in interest payments only. Over the life of the loan, that's a 90% increase on the ROI or return on investment. Banks are pulling an enormous amount of cash. And the worst part about it is most of it is upfront interest payments as opposed to you paying down your principal. So it was taking homeowners seven years of interest payments before paying mostly towards the principal. Now it will take you 20 years of interest payments before the monthly payment even start applying more of your payment towards the principal and not the interest. Can you see the insanity here? So now it takes longer to pay the portion down. And so more of your early mortgage payments are now going right to the bank's profit. Can you see this? I want to give you a serious warning and that is please do not tap into your equity. Do not tap into your home's equity in the form of a home equity line of credit. And here's why. Several years from now, we don't know when, rates are going to drop again. And when that happens, if you got a high interest rate, you would want to refinance. Hear me out here, please stay with me. I know it's shocking to grasp. So you will attempt to refinance to a lower rate to lower your monthly payment, but you will start over again, paying off the interest at a lower rate. So even after the rates fall, the point I'm trying to make, and I don't know this for a fact, but this is just another view, another possibility of what is possibly going on with this whole interest rate hike. And at the end of the day, the high mortgage rates are a win for the banks. The equity in your house that you are sitting on right now, hold on to it. Or you will be in debt making interest payments for a very long time. This is my opinion, of course. Let me know in the comments if this makes sense. And remember to like, subscribe and ring that notification bell. Thank you for your kindness.